Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you some underrated skincare products. These six items are definitely worth consideration when it comes to your own skincare routine, and I don't understand why they don't get more love, hype, and appreciation. Because in my experience, they've helped me to reach my skin goals and really added something beneficial to my skincare routine. It's time that we turn the tide and show these products the love that they deserve. So sit back, relax, let's talk some underrated skincare I love. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know, take a look at your skincare collection. What one item in it would you say deserves way more praise and attention than maybe it's getting? Sing its praises in the comments section below and let's get that conversation going. Whatever your thoughts on the six products that I mentioned today, if you enjoyed this style of content, let me know by reaching down and giving this video a thumbs up and a like. This is the very best way of supporting me as a content creator because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube distributes it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, Thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Now, kicking things off with a brand that certainly isn't without its hype, The Ordinary. But one product that recently launched from them that doesn't seem to have got any traction or attention is this. This is The Ordinary Glucoside Foaming Cleanser. Now, I think the way that The Ordinary launched this is kind of the reason why people ignored it. They have this thing called the O Lab, which is designed to give you guys like an exclusive first look and first chance to buy. You sign up to their OLAB, you get the emails, and then you can buy the products usually like a week or two weeks before they go on general sale. Well, with this product, they decided to say, if you're part of this OLAB group, you get to try this three months before it goes on sale. Well, of course, everyone started talking about it once they, you know, the hype started to build, but then, of course, there wasn't enough for everyone to actually buy. And if you weren't part of the OLAB, you couldn't get your hands on it. So everyone just was like, eh, you know what? It's not worth fighting over, and they just moved past it. So of course, now when it's on general sale, the hype's disappeared. They can't really get the traction that maybe this product, which is really, really good, deserves. I hope that The Ordinary do away with this OLAB. I saw what they were trying to do with it, but it's kind of missed the mark hard. No one's excited by it. And I don't know many people that actually think it's a benefit. We just want the products. We don't want to sign up to something exclusive first access. We just want the products when we want to buy them. You can still get this now it's on general sale and it is a really good cleanser. It uses gentle cleansing agents so you get very light foaming but it's not stripping, it's not drying, it doesn't leave the skin feeling tight after you've used it. It's really effective as well. If you use multiple layers of water resistant um, sunscreen, waterproof makeup, this will actually shift it. You might have to use two applications, almost treat it like a double cleanse with one product but it will definitely do the job. It is a really really nice product to have in your collection and I think I paid £13 for it. When you consider the amount of product you get, a really great price point too. I think The Ordinary would definitely have increased the sales of this if they just launched it like any other product. I think messing around with the OLAB meant it never really got the appreciation that I think it deserved. Keeping with cleansers, another one of my favourite brands is Geek and Gorgeous. I talk about them on the channel all the time and their latest launch is this. This is their Mighty Melt Cleansing Balm. I honestly didn't see any hype or publicity about this. It sort of just landed. It appeared on their website and that was it. I actually stumbled across it when I was doing some other shopping with them and so I thought, well, this is obviously a product that I want to try and I've loved it. But for some reason, people aren't really talking about it. You don't see a lot of reviews of this product here on YouTube, over on Instagram and TikTok. I did my own first impressions, which I'll leave a link to up there if you want to check it out. But I just think this is worthy of so much more praise than it actually gets. So this is quite a simplistic cleansing balm, not a whole lot of different ingredients in here, but that's a good thing. You know, minimizing the total number of ingredients in your routine is good, you know, because it only takes one ingredient to have an allergic reaction or a sensitivity reaction to. So if we can streamline things down, get the job done with fewer ingredients, that's a good thing. And you definitely get that with this product. It's a really great fragrance-free dupe for the Juno Coat Clean 10 Balm, one of my absolute favorites, but that's quite heavily fragranced. If you want an effective cleansing balm that's fragrance-free, limited in terms of number of ingredients, but works really well, this is it. And you get a 100 ml product, and I think it's like 12 or 13 pounds, so ridiculously affordable. It's great if you want to do a facial massage, by the way. Um, I covered my recent facial massage routine in a video, which I'll link up there. If you want a really great cleansing balm to do that facial massage with, 
this is it. Now, a little Korean skincare unsung hero that I want to call out is this. This is the Ciaris My First Essencer. So Ciaris are quite a popular Korean skincare brand. I know lots of you guys out there have tried their products and really enjoyed them. But it tends to be their cleansers and their mists that get a lot of their hype and attention. This little gem is a holy grail that nobody really talks about. I've mentioned it a couple of times on the channel before and you guys that have bought it and tried it said yes it's really really good but I want to keep that hype going because I think this could be a great toner and essence all in one to slot into your skincare routine. What makes this special is instead of it just being hydrating it's actually got some additional benefits beside that. It's packed full of antioxidants such as green tea which is going to be really nice of just you know calming everything down, hydrating and providing some antioxidant protection against free radicals. It's got some mugwort in here which is great if you've got very oily or congested skin. It'll minimise down any breakouts that you have, but again, not strip and dry like some other acne treatments can. It's also got great humectants in here, and all around, this is a real holy grail. I love the fact as well that they kept the true colour of it. It looks bougie. The packaging, it makes you want to reach for it. And I paid less than £10 for this. So definitely an unsung hero and a hidden gem. If you're looking for, you know, a little Korean skincare to slot into your routine, and you want a really effective toner with a purpose, antioxidant, hydrating, calming and soothing. It kind of does it all and definitely needs a little love. Now, keeping with that Korean skincare theme, let's talk about the Purito Galacto Niacin 97 Power Essence. So this product I'm including on this list because it is an amazing, amazing dupe for the SK2 treatment essence. So that product costs, I think, somewhere in the region of £100, whereas this one by Purito costs 10 So you're getting that Galactomyces Ferment in this, which is the exact same ingredient doing all that heavy lifting, but a fraction of the cost. And I'm all about trimming the cost of your skincare routine without compromising on the outcome. Comes. Why pay more when Purito give you that same hit of that Galactomyces at a much lower price point? This feels beautiful on the skin. It glides on. You don't really get um, any stickiness or any residue after you've worked it in. Hydrates, it calms, and that Galactomyces Ferment will, over time, provide some anti-aging benefit, but also help to even out the skin tone. It's a really, really powerful serum that a lot of people pass by because, okay, the packaging isn't that exciting. You know, plain white bottle, brown cardboard outer, nothing really grabs the eye and the attention. But the ingredients in here are so good and definitely, definitely worth a second look. Now the final two products are these. Let's start with this. This is the Alterist Dermatologist Hand Repair Cream. A relative new launch from one of my favourite skincare brands. But again, like with that Geek and Gorgeous one, just arrived. There was no fanfare, there was no announcement, it just sort of turned up. And I would have definitely missed it if I wasn't paying close attention. This is great. Hand creams, most of the time, are just glorified moisturisers, but brands charge you more mil for mil than they do for a standard moisturiser. So it's just their way of, you know, dialing up the till receipts, and I'm not all about that. Hand creams, though, that are well formulated and specific to the hands, which, you know, do need a little TLC too, can play a really great part in your skincare routine, and this is great. So in here, you've got urea in a 10% concentration, which is going to soften the hands. It's also going to hydrate as it's a humectant and give some light exfoliation qualities too. Got a touch of lactic acid. So if you've got any discoloration on your hands, you know what we call like sunspots, discoloration, this could really help eradicate that over time and it is completely matte. So none of that grease slick of a hand cream, you don't get that with this. You can apply this to the skin, 30 seconds later, get typing, and you don't leave that residue all over your keyboard. It's for that reason that I think this is definitely worth an investment above just a standard moisturizer that you can use on your hands. It feels gorgeous and it goes in a really, really nice gel application, which when you work into the hands, it's just everything. It's like a glove. <laughs> it's like a glove of love for the hands and protects them all day long in a way that means you only have to apply maximum once in the morning, maybe midday as well, and you get that hydration. So if you're using a hand cream that maybe you have to reapply every 30 minutes to keep the hand hydrated, do away with that. Choose the Ultraist one as well, which is £4.00. 99. Uh, price point sink in. £4.99 for that high quality of formulation. Definitely worth every penny. Now let's finish on this, which is the Garnier Vitamin C Eye Cream. So this I had very low expectations for because I hate the Garnier Vitamin C Serum. It does nothing for the skin. It's misleading. It, it's just not my favourite product. This though, when I tried it, 
I was really impressed. So the drugstore price point drew me to it. I think I paid eight pounds for this, which is really affordable. You get a great blend of ingredients in here. So you've got the vitamin C, you've got the niacinamide, you've got some caffeine, all these gonna help with any under eye discoloration, puffiness and inflammation. You've also got some banana powder, which is gonna give an immediate brightening to that under eye. So you get the long-term benefits, the short-term wins, at a drugstore price. It's also got a really nice applicator. Um, it's like silicone, so it's quite gentle in that delicate under eye area. Though personally, I apply it to my finger and then apply it to the under eye, because I think for me, that's just more hygienic. This is really good and a little goes a long, long way. So I think the reason why this isn't maybe getting the hype it deserves is all that attention goes onto that dreadful Garnier Vitamin C Serum. Not worth your hard earned coin. This on the other hand, definitely definitely worth a chance and i think i'll link this as i will all the products mentioned in today's video this could be that game-changing drugstore eye cream that you've been looking for so there you have it guys a rundown of six underrated skincare products i think these deserve all the hype love and attention that we can bestow upon them and i definitely think they're worth a second look when it comes to your skincare routine let me know what your thoughts are have you tried any of these products are they already your holy grails let me know in the comments section below wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well love your skin take care bye